So it's no surprise that with every update, and I mean every single update, there's breadcrumb trails pointing towards what's upcoming in games. Call of Duty in particular for our topics of discussions. Season 5 for Modern Warfare 2 was no different, and in fact, we actually learned a lot about Modern Warfare 3, the upcoming reveal event, the content on hand, and more just from this past update yesterday with Season 5 in Modern Warfare 2. So today, we're going to break down what we've seen so far in particular for Modern Warfare 3 out of that Modern Warfare 2 Season 5 update. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What do you think for Modern Warfare 3's reveal, and what do you think so far of Season 5 in Modern Warfare 2? If you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay up to date with still a ton of Season 5 coverage, and especially as we gear up for Modern Warfare 3's reveal and what all that will bring. Finally, we're going to be starting to go live here again over on my Twitch and newly set up kick channels. We're getting back into the swing of the streaming grind here. So if you'd like to hang out with us while we do a bunch of Warzone ranked and different games here and stuff like that, I'd love to have you in the community to come join. Link in the description below if you're at all interested. But for now, let's jump into it. So today's information comes from the Season 5 game files, data miner Hey Amalaix, who we've talked about before, and Redditor Much Draft over on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit for a subject we'll get to in a little bit. So let's start. First, I think we should work our way up here to the Modern Warfare 3 stuff. In Season 5, we know, of course, we have a handful of weapons already released and more coming throughout the season, right? Well, from the get-go, one of the things that felt kind of off to me was in that reveal blog, there were two segments for the weapons listed as in-season. One for an individual weapon, that being the M13C, and the other a grouping of weapons. So, if they would all be coming and released at the same time as per normal with prior mid-season updates, and what we've seen happen with every season so far in Modern Warfare 2, why would they be listed in two separate capacities? We theorized that, well, what if one comes before that mid-season update, which with the season lasting only around seven weeks here, that'd be coming pretty soon if the seasonal refresh would be in max of four weeks time. So we threw out this idea that we'd have this as a reward for the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event, similar to what we've had with other blueprints and other smaller cosmetics in the past. Well, it seems like that actually may be the case. In the new Havoc mode, some players ended up having a glitched unlock pop-up come through on their screen, similar to how you would if you unlocked a camo, but instead it said M13C unlock, unlocked through completing the Shadow Siege event challenges. Now, under normal circumstances, you can't access the M13C, and we don't have any sort of Shadow Siege event in game. Tomorrow, we have the start of the Faction Showdown event, a different event, which will last for roughly two weeks' time, but that includes rewards of smaller stuff leading to a weapon blueprint, a universal camo at the very end of all of it. None of those rewards point towards anything to do with the M13C. So, what is the Shadow Siege event? That is the Modern Warfare 3 reveal event. According to Alex, this will be something that, similar to prior reveal events, will be its own sort of playlist and its own game mode that you can queue into. Currently rumored to be in DMZ this time around, but he states, the reveal will be in a specific playlist, but no indication on how long it will stay active. Now, prior reveal events lasted in their playlist for a few days. I think Cold Wars in particular was even something that lasted around a week, but that was on and off, meaning that it wasn't there the entire time, but would pop up every few hours for about a week's time, allowing players to end up having the opportunity to see the reveal for themselves and get the rewards associated with it. And that's the thing. Every one of these events have had rewards to earn and incentivize playing in them along with just the simple aspect of revealing the upcoming game. According to Alex, these will include a weapon charm, a battle pass token, an emblem, a calling card, a car skin, and the new M13C assault rifle. That checks out in terms of quantity comparative to what we've seen with the Cold War and Vanguard reveals and the amount of rewards we had for those, but it also very clearly would explain why in a redacted sense, it's said redacted, it would be another listing for an in-season weapon, not something that's listed in that bulk usually associated with mid-season. But the next big question comes down to, well, when is the reveal event going to happen? If it isn't at mid-season, if this isn't something we saw with a launch season five, like previously rumored months ago by Insider Gaming, but well, when is it? Well, even that's something we can take a look at because in the game files, there were game banners pulled by Alex that ended up pointing towards the message of don't miss the worldwide reveal of Modern Warfare 3, August 17th in Warzone. So two weeks from today, we should be seeing the reveal of Modern Warfare 3 officially in game. And to compound on top of all of that, 
We've seen that Call of Duty's kind of done just about everything except explicitly announce the game as Modern Warfare 3. They've been playing with all these rumors the last couple of months and actually like indirectly confirming some of the stuff that we've seen, whereas previously they just deny, 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 or say nothing at all. Instead, I mean, we've seen them tweet eye emojis during the mentions of another game coming out this fall during the Microsoft court proceedings. We saw them tweet out, ah, Mondays, who needs an energy drink after the Monster Energy promo was discovered with the key art for Modern Warfare 3 alongside it. And most recently, as as of yesterday, we saw them tweet, jokes on you, real key art here, we'll share our artistic abilities and even more next week, with an image drawn in, not in Microsoft Paint, RIP, saying Modern Warfare Redacted, Call of Duty, and a stick figure that looks to be Price. Honestly though, I think even just that, just saying Modern Warfare Redacted is the first real step that they've made towards being anything official with Modern Warfare, if I'm not mistaken. So we are getting closer, but with that being said, yesterday, I'd expect something to be happening around Wednesday of next week, the one week mark from the tweet, and just under the one week mark from the event, that build up period here for the next couple of days leading into that reveal event and when it actually happens. So that rule of two that we talk about here strikes again. But anyways, beyond that, that's the reveal of when you can expect and what we learned here out of the update, but let's take a look at something of other interest. How about weaponry? Because over 30 weapons and their associated weapon designations in the files have been found. This, this is where Redditor Much Draft comes into play, taking a lot of gibberish and how game files are often listed and compiled and making sense of them to real world counterparts of weaponry. So for reference on how the naming goes, and so I'm not repeating the prefixes of every single weapon with every mention, every weapon starts with the prefix JUP, or short for Jupiter, the code name of the game. Then it's followed by their designated classification. So AR is a assault rifle, BR is battle rifle, marksman rifles are DM, machine guns are LM, submachine guns are SM, and so on and so forth. What's left is then the identifier at the end of the weapon itself. Again, a lot of them to the standard eye look like just straight up nonsense, but much draft came in huge with this and provided a potential list for just about all of them. Now, one thing to note before we dive into the list is that this stuff, as with all things with leaks, are subject to change and are a snapshot in development. It's not necessarily what will be there 100% come launch, and some of these references may not be 100% to what Much Draft thinks they could be but it's a relative understanding on where we can look and what we can expect to see in a relative sense. So I'd hear it out. So getting into the list, let's start with assault rifles. We have a Charlie, which is the Bushmaster ACR and 556, the a Charlie 300, which is the Bushmaster ACR and 300 blackout, the golf 36, which is the G 36, the B Romeo two M, which is the CZ Bren two MS in seven, six, two, the B Romeo eight Oh five, which is the CZ eight Oh five Bren five, five, six, the Foxtrot 2000, which is the FN, F2000, the Q Bravo 95, which is the QBZ 95 and 58 by 42, the Q Bravo 97, which is the QBZ 97 NSR Gen 3 and 556. For battle rifles, we have the A Charlie 450, which is the Bushmaster ACR and 450 Bushmaster. So with that crossover, kind of confirming that we will see this return of the platform system here, seemingly where they're all the same, but slightly different in designation and caliber. We have the CZ Bren 2BR and 762 by 51. We have the MCX Spears, the XM7. Then for for marksman rifles, we have the ACR DMR and 556, the CZ Bren 2 PPS, the Heckler and Coke SL8, and the Kalashnikov SVK. For machine guns, we have the FN Evolus or FN Evolus, the MG36, the Bullpup PKP, and the standard PKP. Then we have the QJB95 LSW. Pistols, we have the Glock 21, Beretta 93R, the RSH 12, and the Micro Uzi. The shotguns, there are two listed, the pump and the semi, but no designation beyond that, so there's no real way to discern in which those could be. The submachine guns, we have the Colt Model 635, we have the LWRC SMG 45, the CZ Scorpion Evo 3, the Heckler & Koch UMP, the Uzi, and the Uzi Pro. Snipers, we have the Steyr HS 50 M1 and the SVCH. Beyond that, we saw some listings for the PFM1 mine, and the kill streaks of the long range acoustic device and a sort of hunter killer drone of the Aerovironment switchblade. So there is some crossover from what we've seen from recent leaks as well, but some new stuff in there on top of that. So getting a decent bit of an understanding as to what we can expect to see here with Modern Warfare 3 when all things are said and done. So, I mean, that's where we're at here at this, and that's a decent bit to come out of just, well, one singular update. Honestly, I'm surprised the event itself hasn't necessarily been cracked into just yet. I would expect in the next couple of days here that that does happen. I mean, we've seen that happen with every single reveal event in Warzone thus far. That's just the problem where you have to set up these sort of environments for that, that it's going to have some bleed 
over early, unfortunately. But we'll see if anything comes of that. But right now, that's what we know of with the Modern Warfare 3 leaks here in Season 5. So let me know your thoughts down below. Are you looking forward to seeing what the reveal holds? Are you looking forward to unlocking the M13C? Are you liking the weapon list that we've seen so far? What are the case? Drop your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing instead of with all things Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Season 5, X Defiant, other FPS content here on the channel, and more. We'll keep the deal with all of that. So if you guys would like to join the community, I'd love to have you. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.